All right, here is the Super Nintendo version of Xeno Crisis. I've covered other versions of this on my channel. There'll be a link in the description for the Neo Geo and the Sega Genesis version, which I'm gonna compare gameplay to this one. And so here's the packaging. This is a US release. Uh, there's other options on their website for different regions. And uh, they sent it to me to cover on my channel. And here it is, comes shrink wrapped and comes with a postcard, pretty nice there. And uh, gonna, gonna unbox this, yep. I use a letter opener to open up all my boxes. Keeps them in nice shape. You can use a butter knife as well. Uh, I learned that from a friend a long time ago and keeps the folds from the tops of the boxes. Here's the nice full color manual. Here's the tray and the cartridge. And I'm gonna show you inside I do like the control setup for Xeno Crisis on the Super Nintendo. You can use joystick or Super Nintendo controller because of the layout of the Super Nintendo controller. This is a nice setup and this is a difficult game. There's two uh, difficulty settings. I'm going to show it playing on easy just to show some more gameplay. Very challenging game one or two player simultaneous play, lots of different weapons and enemies. You can upgrade your character. This is kind of like, if you're not familiar with this game, it's kind of like if Aliens and Robotron 2084 had a baby. Uh, it's a really nice, uh, fun, twin stick kind of style gameplay. And it works really well on the Super Nintendo. Here's the cartridge, really nice uh, brand new parts. Let's jump into gameplay. You can choose different language when you set this up and has a uh, the same introduction that I've seen on other versions of this game. Uh, and so yeah, story, pretty straightforward, definitely an arcade style game. And I really like this game quite a bit. I enjoy playing this on several different setups. I even have a, a Sega Genesis like arcade setup in my studio I like to play. So yep, hard and easy by default. There's different control setups. Um, enjoy this. And here's the controls by default. You can uh, change some things, but yeah. Anyways, wanted to show that as I know that a lot of people like this game. It's on almost everything, Steam, modern platforms, I do believe it's even on the Vita. Um, in the comments, let me know about that. You can choose one of two characters and jump right in. And so yeah, it's definitely got that Aliens vibe. You're, you're taking out aliens and there's bosses, different weapons. You can uh, roll, you can launch a grenade. So you grab these uh, dog tags and you can use those as like currency to upgrade in between levels and so you have to clear a room and then you can choose where to go and depending on your path you get different weapon upgrades you can save people who wants to save the humans and uh, you run out of ammo so yeah it's very fast on the super nintendo it's very it plays very fluid no slowdown that I can see. They really did a good job programming this. I'm a big fan of this game and the different versions. There's even a Neo Geo version, which I did cover on my channel. So yeah, I got one of the weapon upgrades that you can find. You have to uh, ammo limitations. Not doing too great, but just wanted to show it. Very difficult game. First boss. So, goal, this, uh, this boss spits out enemies, you gotta avoid it. Shoots at you, it's good to evade with the roll button. So the shoulder buttons have grenade and roll as default for a control setup. So, pretty easy to die, and then you have so many continues, you can use your currency to purchase other continues in the game. That's important. All right, well, he's to continue. Didn't do great. Rank B. 
just first look, thought I'd show, do a quick video and show this game. And a lot of people are curious about it. And you can upgrade health, power, speed, ammo limit, grenades, grenade power. Onward to area two. Multiple areas in this game. Yeah, it gets pretty intense. Uh, you know, knowing that enemy patterns. Just a very fun arcade game. I would love for them to make an arcade version of this and offer this in arcades. That's uh, kind of what I what I've done in my game room, where uh, I did a video where I I took uh, a modification of an arcade one up uh, machine by Intech Gaming to change your arcade cab into a Sega Genesis unit. That's 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 how I like playing this game. But I have to say, I like the Super Nintendo control setup with the controller. It's really easy, uh, one button per direction, and then you can combine two button presses for directional uh, and diagonal uh, control. It's a really nice uh, initial setup. It's fast. If you would have told me this is running on Super Nintendo uh, without, without looking at the machine it was running on, uh, it runs really fast. So definitely, um, it's one thing I really liked about Xeno Crisis. It really fit, I thought, the Genesis kind of vibe. But this is this is looking good. It definitely has a little color advantage over the Sega Genesis. I'm going to show that uh, at the end of this video later on. And so yeah, um, just continuing, just trying to get to that second boss, and then I'll do a comparison between the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. So a lot of people are curious about that. And definitely in the comments, let me know. Have you played this? Uh, what do you think of this? Pretty difficult game. Uh, definitely kind of a fast, kind of twitch game that you could play maybe with friends. Especially friends that like games such as, you know, Alien Syndrome or Robotron 2084. It's got that nice 16-bit sprite graphics, though. A lot of people, you know, grew up with those types of graphics. And I think it does a good job at representing... An era long gone. You know, I, I definitely grew up in the 16-bit era, so a lot of fond memories of video games that looked like this. Just doing pretty terrible on this level. I don't, it's a challenge for sure. But, you know, with uh, pattern memorization and continued playing, I will get better, but haven't had a lot of time to sit down and play this one. Just wanted to show some quick gameplay. Use my final continue. I do believe I have enough to purchase a continue. So when you get hit, that's how many like lives you have, and uh, it's it's a pretty challenging game. All right, yay! Terrible rank. Um, that's okay. So then, go here. And yeah, I have enough for a continue. Elixir. But yeah, fun game. And on the link uh, to the website where you can purchase this, uh, different regions are offered. But here are the comparisons of... The Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. As you can see, a little bit better color. Pretty close there. But the Super Nintendo uh, is more advanced hardware and does get the nod. I didn't uh, change or edit any of the color. This is just native. And I'm playing these both on the analog uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis models. So its output is pretty close. Try to compare it as best as possible. What do you think? Which version you played in the comments? Let me know. And I want to thank everybody for coming to my channel and viewing these. Uh, that means a lot to me, uh, to your viewership. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, and clicking the bell, as I am uploading every week. Folks, wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock.